Okay, Brownlee, a quick tutorial on the mail merge. Uh, of course, we'll go into Outlook, uh, go into Business Contact Manager, uh, go to Marketing, create new mass email. When we do this, it's going to show us all our contacts. Now, what I've done is I've created a category for my contacts called blue. So you could create a category. You can go in here and add a category and call it municipal contacts or um, you know corporate contacts or school contacts or whatever. Uh, so that then I can go in and filter my contact list so we're looking at all contacts now all contacts and leads we can go in and filter that we can go in here and choose category as our um, filtering field and we want our category in this case to equal blue say ok now I have three people instead of five in my list because I've uh, modified or, or fil filtered them down to just the blue people and I'll give my activity a name. You have to do this before you continue. Give it a name. I'm going to call it Blue People. And if I want to track it by campaign, I'll say Blue Campaign. Then I'll need to go to Mail Merge because um, I want to, uh, because that's the only way I can personalize it. I click Create you'll get this message that says word is open for um, word is open for you so you can create the document when you're done save the file and then come back to this activity and click the launch button okay so word is open and although we don't see it we see it down here on the bar so for some reason it doesn't come up in front we'll open a new document and then it'll give us instructions over here as to what to do. I'm gonna. We're not gonna select recipients here. Uh, we're gonna use our recipients from the previous uh, page. Um, so what we do want to do is is we want to add a greeting line. Uh, and if you're doing like a letter or something, you probably add, do the whole address block to where. Um, let's see. Well, it's not giving us an example, but let's just use the greeting line. And in the greeting line option, uh, it has this option here, greeting line for invalid recipient name. So if, if, if a contact that you have has an invalid recipient name, and I'm not sure what's considered invalid, you can have it uh, display either to whom it may concern or nothing at all. We'll just choose nothing at all. And then click OK so now we have our greeting line and then you can type your email address I'm gonna say hello blue people that's my email and I'm gonna say thanks um, and I'm gonna enter a field I want to enter their first name so I'm gonna say thanks first name and then I'm gonna enter my signature and since I don't have a signature in here, I'm going to just type my name, but you can paste your signature that you normally use. Then you'll be done. So we'll save our document now. And then we'll go back over here. And we can launch from here. And we click launch. It takes us right back to Word. But what it does is it imports our recipients now. Uh, it didn't do that from the beginning for some reason but it does it now and so as you can see we have our recipients names showing up in the email we can preview the email it's, it's also showing us a preview of the results so we have uh, three recipients and as you can see their names change to match the recipient then we would just click uh, we can either go over here and go to next which is next complete merge click this it'll ask you for a um, subject type uh, whatever your subject is going to be and you can uh, 
have it as plain text or HTML document and you just click OK and it sends the email now that was really quick because I only have three recipients so uh, but it's done it's processed the emails I'm gonna close this save it for, for future reference and then I'm gonna save and close this and now it's gonna show my um, campaign as being executed uh, my marketing uh, mass mail as being executed so that's uh, so that's how you create your uh, mass marketing campaign the key is is to segment your um, your contacts by category and then when you create the uh, campaign you can filter the result okay um, hope that was helpful have any questions uh, email me or give me a call thanks